Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mark Boyd. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist. I've been in practice for about 25 years. And today we're gonna to talk about the topic of placenta previa. Is this bad? Is this concerning for you as a patient? I encourage you to hit the link below. We have a vast amount of information as it relates to pregnancy questions just like this. In going to that site, I think you will be surprised at how much information that pertains to you as a pregnant woman. I encourage you to go there. Now, is it bad to have a placenta previa? First of all, you have to understand that question. The answer obviously is yes, but let me preface what I mean by that. The placenta, when it ends up overlying the cervix. So the uterus is a ball. We'll just kind of pretend that it looks like a football. Now, we like placentas that are on the front edge of the placenta or the back edge of the placenta. That's called anterior or posterior. Or we like a placenta that's on the top of the uterus. What we don't work like, either you don't like it or I don't like it as your healthcare provider, is a placenta that's overlying the cervix. That's part of the birth canal. The baby has to go through that placenta to deliver at term, and this is why a placenta previa is very concerning. Now, let's look at statistics. Oftentimes, you will be notified if you've had bleeding or if you've had your second trimester ultrasound, which is done around 20 weeks, that your placenta may be low-lying or it may completely cover the cervix. Now, low-lying is exactly what it means. That means the placenta is down by the cervical opening. Again, that's part of the birth canal. Or it completely overlies the cervical os. Again, part of the birth canal. Now, if you move forward, so now we're 24, 28 weeks, 32 weeks, and we were to look at that placenta and see if it migrates, the great majority of placenta previas or low-lying placentas migrate up into the uterine cavity. So if we fast forward, and go all the way to 36 weeks, 96% of all placentas have migrated up away from the cervical os. That means only 4% are affected at that point. If we fast forward again four weeks and go all the way to term, 98% of patients' placentas have migrated up out of the way to allow for a vaginal delivery. So the total amount of patients that are affected is only about 2% or less. Even in that scenario, there's some patients that have a low-lying placenta where their baby can deliver through that successfully and without danger to you or your baby. However, at the point of term, if the placenta still overlies the cervical os, this is called a placenta previa, your healthcare provider will recommend a cesarean section. And again, this is for your safety and for the safety of your baby. Very important question, placenta previa. Very important statistic, only 2% or less have this problem at term. I encourage you to talk to your healthcare provider about this very important topic if they tell you on your sonogram that you have a placenta previa. Again, I encourage you to go to my site, click the link below. We have a large amount of information as it relates to pregnancy that will be beneficial for you.